<laughs> Drinking beer, playing pool, and inappropriate card games. All things you can find students doing on a typical afternoon at Towers, Grant McEwen's University Pub. And speaking of being inappropriate, live entertainment is being served up by business student Hector Castro. I don't want to see like the marriage pictures. I don't want to see like the sadness. I'm getting fat. I'm in my sweatpants eating like cheese pizza pictures. No, I want to see the divorce pictures. An aspiring stand-up comic, Castro is finally putting his talents to good use. It's nice to have people say like, oh, you're funny. You should do something. Because I always write a lot of weird stuff on Facebook, and people are like, you should write a book. You should do comedy and now that I'm finally doing it, they're like, sweet, now I want to come see you. Although a newcomer to the Edmonton comedy scene, few would consider Castro's beginnings laughable. And you know what's the kicker? We're gonna throw in a freezer. <laughs> the 29-year-old has earned a spot as one of nine finalists in the upcoming Young Guns comedy competition. And it wasn't his light-hearted spirit that got him there. It's really dark, it's a little bit slanted. It's observational, but it's leaning towards a bit of like the darker humor kind of stuff. It's not gonna be really like quick punchlines or punny. It's like observations that are just kind of a little bit like, whoa, that's, that's kind of weird. But I totally get what he's saying. I just never said it before. Castro admits his routine pushes boundaries, something his commerce education may not allow. Let's say if you have politicians, they have to do something, they have to worry about, like, if I say something, is it going to offend somebody else? Am I going to lose votes? For the most part, there's no real repercussions, and you can be as honest as you want and just reflect on what you actually think of society. At this point, the only consequence Castro will face is how he fares on stage on October 15th. But it's a risk he's become accustomed to, and one he is hopeful will get other comedians out in the spotlight. Just do it. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You bomb? I bomb often <laughs> and yeah it's kind of weird when nobody laughs at your jokes but at least you can say you did it if you did it and you liked it awesome keep doing it if you didn't and you didn't like it well you can stop there's no harm no foul if you would like to enjoy a night of comedy and to catch castro's routine head to atbcomedy.com for shaw tv i'm brianne mclaughlin